Hi guys. All right, so it's um, uh, week nine, weigh in number eight, and I lost 2.6 pounds, and that brings my weight down to 213. I was 234 um, day one, uh, the biggest I've ever been, um, and uh, um, so that makes 21 pounds that I've lost. So. I'm pretty happy about that. Everything um, is getting loose on me, which is good, but then I'm kind of running out of clothes. You know, it's that whole just deal with it thing. I'd rather be pulling up my pants all day than, um, than you know, thinking they shrunk. <laughs> so, yeah, everything's good. Um, you know, when I first started, I said I was doing the Weight Watchers and... Um, uh, Weight Watchers is good because it makes everything easy and I have all the stuff and I know what to do on Weight Watchers. So I take the concept of it, but so I'm not going to meetings. I don't plan on going, well, for now I don't plan, I mean I don't really plan on going to meetings. And um, um, since I'm really trying to focus on this as a lifestyle change, then I'm using what I got around me and for my gym I do resistance bands and yoga I try to do that at least once or twice a week which I just did them a couple days ago and I hadn't done it in like a whole week and holy crap I apparently all the swimming I do swimming is a full body exercise but apparently I haven't been working all the muscles when I swim because when I did yoga um, not only was I setting my ass off, it was really hard, and I was really sore. I'm feeling a lot better. My shoulders and everything was so sore, but you get such a good workout with it. I, I use, um, it's on my page if you want to look it up. It's Chris Freitag. Uh, she has like a, if you look up Chris Freitag, uh, 10 pounds slimmed down, and then she has like a, um, it's what I started using before, uh, and, uh, she does like uh, upper and lower body workouts you can do at home and then also um, vinyasa yoga which means a flowing yoga it really break, burns a sweat and um, I can find I can get to the whole video which is great um, to hold up my own upper body and everything you know I'm still kind of shaky but hey I'm getting through it and so I do that, and then I go walking every day. I go walking on the trail, and the weather's nice. Um, it's morning right now, so it's time for me to get off my butt. And I'm just going to upload this video and then go for my walk. Uh, um, and then I like to go hit the bridge. The bridge, I really like to walk. It's 2.6 miles um, if you go both ways once, you know, there and back. And that's 2.6 miles, and it's just beautiful, and it's refreshing, and um, cars are going by because you know it's 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 41. It's a kind of a highway called um, US 41, but uh, you know there's a big barrier separating you, and I just had the earphones on. The view is amazing, so that's really cool and to be able to walk that bridge and sometimes jog I try to throw jogging in there here and there um, it's you know it's a good accomplishment too and lots of people walk it so it's you know it's kind of cool and then um, and then I like to go on my trail my trail is um, about that length too no it's too no my trail if I do the whole thing um, it's five miles uh, it's 2.6 miles if I go all the way to the end sometimes I don't go all the way to the end depending on how late I left because the Sun is hot but um yeah I was doing good so like I said when I first started I was doing the Weight Watchers because counting calories I've always said is stupid you know it's just if Weight Watchers makes it easy, why not do it? But I've been really involved in that My Fitness Pal. In My Fitness Pal, um, it's MyFitnessPal.com, and there's a whole community out there of everyone just, you know, doing their thing, counting calories, and 
it makes it easy and it's my version of my online you know tracking so I also keep a food journal and I write stuff down in it constantly and I have my my planners that I've got I've sh already showed in the past but my fitness pal like let's say it figures out it already um, calculates exercise into your 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 calorie deficit you're supposed to eat per day so it's telling me I need to have 1200 calories per day then is if I do exercise then it adds more calories that I'm supposed to eat and it's weird how your body works and your metabolism and everything because I it's it's proven I've proven it myself that if I do not eat my exercise calories back which seems kind of it seems counterproductive because you know I worked so hard and I sweated so much and everything and now they're now I'm saying I'm supposed to eat it back but if I don't do that then my loss is slower or smaller for the week so that just goes to prove you cannot starve yourself you just need to eat throughout the day like every couple of hours and get your calories and your body needs a set amount of calories just to even just sit here and talk and breathe and you know um, let alone trying to replenish what you did for exercising it all evens out and a slow loss per week is great so I'm right on track where I wanted to be because next week will be week 10 and my goal was to lose 10% by 10 I've made that goal every time and it looks like I'm going to do it or come close. I need to lose another two point something pounds. So if I don't make it next week, then I got this in the bag at the end of next week. So that'd be great. And um, uh, my clothes are getting smaller, I mean uh, looser. So that's, that is really awesome. And uh, I haven't really had too many challenges except we're kind of we're kind of scrimping I'm trying to be creative on what we have to eat I have lots of freaking chicken that we you know we are given different types of chicken it's not the chicken I like it's chicken on bone but I'm um, trying to be doing different stuff with it uh, you know I can't really afford to go out and get some fish and different stuff but I'm just I'm making it work I'm counting my calories I'm trying to eat good and and it's great right now I took on a new a kind of a foster cat so my cat's been running around I gotta always keep an eye on my two cats because um, they do not like this cat they're like evil cats around this cat is they sound like the pet cemetery ones they're like <laughs> so um, but the cat was a stray and there's so many strays running around here I hate it because you know like bobcats eat those and gators do and um and then not to mention all the other stuff like um so we kind of just i kind of took in the cat and uh it's just a little kitten i'm hoping it can find a home anyone live in port charlotte florida or near i'll bring you a cat if you want it um she's really sweet anyway uh, things are going good I'm really sad a little bit this week is really hard because tomorrow my baby turns 14 14 happy birthday Bryce I love you and I still haven't found a job and I don't have any money to go there or get him here or nothing um, all I can do is send him some money and uh, went for an interview yesterday and I don't know. I think it was a flop. I don't get it. I just can't find a job. So I'm going to keep hoping, you know, and doing my thing. Essentially, I'm on vacation playing the housewife, so it's all good. I do my part. And uh, um, week's going good. I, I'm, I'm on a roll. I know what i got to do. I just, you know, keep track. You have to journal, you have to exercise, you have to get in lots of waters. You got to try to always be adding things. Don't deprive yourself of things. Just keep adding in new veggies and try new foods and try new recipes and just stay on track. And um, uh, I'll tell you, uh, 
my video is probably really long already by now, but um, everybody is really a huge inspiration to me. Um, my my the friends I have been talking to on my fitness pal and um, and uh, and YouTube friends and like um, slimming in the rain always consistently comments on my videos. So hi and uh we're all kind of in the same boat together and if you guys ever um i don't know if everybody's involved with that with um walk with chappy uh, he um he's really inspirational and he's lost 140 pounds it's amazing and um beautiful alicia i love her positive attitude and she's doing it and um uh, I, I don't always get to watch all the videos, but R Rob Reno TV, um, I love his positive attitude, and especially with everything that's been happening, and he's, at least, um, he got off, he kind of got off the wagon because, you know, life gets in the way, but he jumped right back on, he didn't wait a whole year or so like I did, so that's, that's good. And he's already lost like amazing amounts since in one week. So you guys are all doing great. And you're some of my inspirations that I've mentioned and everybody else. And um, uh, I appreciate everybody who um, comments or even just watches my video. And maybe you get something, you know. Or um, But everybody, this is what keeps me motivated. This is kind of my routine. I check out what's going on YouTube. I'm always switch back and forth. I got Facebook things going on, and I even made like a whole playlist for our Facebook. It's nothing but I call it Weight Watchers, but it's like everybody that I've made through Fitness Pal or our face or Facebook or YouTube, and everybody's on that page. And then that's my home page, so I just click on that and. Um, see what's going on all right and then I switch over to my fitness pal and you know it just it keeps me motivated so um, it, and I don't feel like I'm on a diet at all it's just kind of amazing I'm losing I'm eating all the time so but I'm weighing things I'm measuring things um, it's real easy I just keep it right there by the stove just flop it on my scale um, I'm I'm consciously thinking about what I'm eating. How many calories is that? But I'm not, it's not like a huge thing. It's like, oh, I just got to write that down later or something, you know. So once you do this long enough, it's kind of in your head. Oh, you know, I could go all day and not even log. And then I figure I'll put it in later. And when I do, I'm right on. I'm right on. I'm like, oh, I might need to eat a little more or something. But I'm usually pretty right on. So everything's going good. And apparently I'm going with my friend to the library. So it's just kind of a break up in my day because usually I get my exercise and I do the me time in the morning. And then I do my house, whatever I got to do. But I got cats. I constantly vacuum and stuff like that and dust. And, um, but everything is going good. So, um, uh, good luck to everybody and just take this one day at a time. Because eventually you will get there. Slow and steady wins the race. That's for sure. Bye, guys. See you next week for my 10th week. All right.